For a few bucks, visitors can buy a cup of pellets made from alfalfa and corn and feed the ostriches. There are about 100 female ostriches in a big pen that are used to being fed by tourists. Rooster, let's feed these things. Okay. Come and get it! <laughs> this thing eats like I do. Come over there. Oh! Guess what the college kids have taught them? It's called a chug -a lug Who wants to chug it? There's a chug it. Get on up there. <laughs> Rooster raises his ostriches to sell as breeding stock and for egg production. But if you're looking for ostrich meat, you can find ostrich steaks at some high-end grocery stores. You can also order them over the internet. The frozen steaks are shipped to your door and you're ready for action. And speaking of action, it's time for us to get down to business with some cooking. Our first recipe is a great way to introduce people to ostrich meat in true feasty style. Now, what are we going to make this beer sauce out of? Well, we need to start with some oil. We need to get that hot. So I got a half a cup of oil there, but reserve just a little bit of it because we're going to wash that grill down, you know? Okay. That's nice and hot. A little bit of our tang. Then add soy sauce for some tang. Next, onions and garlic. And you can't have a feasty beer sauce without beer. Got about three quarters of a cup of your favorite beer. We're, looking, we're using a local beer, John and uh, it, we think it'll taste great. Last up, lemon juice, brown sugar, and Dijon mustard. It's sweet, and you can smell the brown sugar, the sweetness of the brown sugar. You can smell the soy sauce, the onions. But as you can see, that's still a little runny, so we've got about a quarter cup of beer reserved here. We're gonna put two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch in here. Gonna mix that up. Gonna mix that up real nice, and that's gonna thicken this sauce up just perfectly. The reason why we had to do this separately is because you can't add cornstarch to hot liquid. It'll clump. So you want to just reserve some cold water, some cold beer. That way it'll dissolve, and then you can throw it into your sauce. And look at that. Look how fast that thickened up. Perfect. Up next, we break out the barbecue to finish our first recipe. And then, Beastie Boys go to work. You're looking at Rooster's newest ranch hands. <laughs> 